hello and welcome back to my series of Ultima 4 Quests of the Avatar. We have elevated for two different, two different of our uh, virtues. And uh, we're going to do one more today. And then I think we're going to do a little more exploring. Let's bring the map up. So we're standing right next, right where Vesper is. If you look on the eastern side of the map toward the top, you'll see Vesper. I'm actually standing right on Vesper. You can't see it, but it's there underneath me. And we're going to go north to that lake. And we found before the Shrine of Sacrifice on a little island in the middle of the lake that we can uh, reach by a bridge. So we're going to start off with going there and and uh, do the meditation. And then we'll also explore that area a little bit. I want to explore all the way around there. And then probably what we'll do is if we get all that done, I'm assuming there'll be some things to kill. If we make it up to 900 gold, which is what we learned it would take to get a sextant, then we will buy that. Uh, if we don't, we'll continue exploring and we will um, probably start working our way toward Lock Lake across the Bloody Plains there on the southern uh, southern border. We've been kind of through the middle and through the north, but we haven't been down there. And we'll just explore that and kind of make our way to the Lock Lake area. There's stuff we need there. And then maybe ultimately like to Lord British and the Moon Gate and move and figure out what next is to do. But that probably won't be this episode. But that is my plan for today. So let's roll up the map and put it back away. And let's get started. I do need to make it back to Moonglow because there was uh, the companion there that said you're not experienced enough. But I've since made it to level six. Uh, so um, maybe I will be experienced enough. We'll see. I, I think I want to check every time. And there we are. And this time, thank God, we don't have to deal with poison to do this. There's poison there. There's always there. There's always poison. Why is there always poison? There's always poison. But we don't have to walk in it, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. All right, so let's enter the shrine. This is sacrifice. I guess I will get uh, our mantra available. It's Ka, C-A-H. Okay. So... Uh, it's it's right there, S A C R I F I S. It's right there on top. There, you think I could just look and type, but maybe not. Sacrifice. So we'll do our one, and we'll get this meditation done. All right, ka. We are granted a vision to give thy last gold piece unto the needy shows good measure of self-sacrifice. Okay. So now we need to go do some things. So maybe what we'll do is, yep, oh, let's kill some orcs. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to have you stay. You can come over. You can come up and you can help them out and let's attack. Maybe we can get some, uh, in addition to getting gold, maybe we can... Uh, up our valor. Oh, did my, was my guy fleeing already? Did I say you? Now he is. I don't know if he was before, but he certainly is now. And he's gone. A pox upon ye for... All right. Probably try to hold up and camp after this, and then we'll go back and see if enough time has passed that we can... that we can... Um, do the next the next set okay my guy is done and i like my position i'm i'm um when this guy gets down here if he's going to get all melee which he is and i can just flank him oh we got him i don't know if it makes a difference if i get the chest i might try that and see if that helps but let's uh, hold up in camp Maybe we can get our health back up to everybody. Nobody's really in super bad shape. And it did. All right, so let's go over. Oh, we got lots of fun things to kill. What is that, Zorn, I think? We'll take care of you in a minute. Sacrifice for two cycles. Ah, we're still weary. 
All right, well, let's let's do some kill them. All right. Go attack attack. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, I think uh, I, I need to pay attention. I think Julia is, is, I think I have her equipped with a sling. I do. Such an idiot. All right, that's one down. My guy is lightly wounded. All right, I need to move Iolo. Still lightly wounded. All right, I'm gonna attack. Have our melee guys support our ranged guys here. Oh, okay, well he's gone. Oh, I should have had Julia move up. Was he, was my guy fleeing? Why are you fleeing, sir? He is fleeing. I missed that he said he was the one that says he's fleeing. Get him, Julia. All right, there we go. Get, I will get it. 13 gold. All right, Zorns. Okay, I'm gonna attack that Zorn. Bring you up, bring you up. And then... I will leave Julia and Iolo to the rear. Oh man, they are not doing very good. My guy's lightly wounded. That one's heavily wounded. Miss. Okay, let's Agazorn's critical, that's good to know. This guy has really got a really tough skin. That Zorn's fleeing. Maybe. All right, good. Iolo took him out. All right, this guy's heavily wounded. Still heavily wounded. Well, that Zorn's just really hanging, hanging in there. Now he's critical. We can only just deliver the killing blow. But like a poor marksman, we just keep missing. Oh, now he's fleeing. We'll see about that. There we go. That guy's gone. All right, I'm going to come up. I didn't really want to do that. He's still just lightly wounded. It's kind of amazing. These guys seem to be... I mean, they aren't doing a ton of damage to us. Now, basically, we can all... wail on this guy. Alright, there we go. All right, 33. All right. All right, well, let's... I'm not gonna bother holding up and camping. Oh! That looks scary. <laughs> let's see if we can meditate before we gotta deal with that. That might need a little magic. Um, Three-headed... Brontosaur? <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> So we're looking to do two. Okay, good. This time we are able to do it. That's excellent news. K. 
Ka, ka. The sounds of the birds as they fly in from the coast to search for the mosquitoes and other bugs that like to breed on the surface of Lock Lake. Grant another vision. For thee to flee and leave thy companions is a self-serving action to be avoided. I find these things funny because this is telling you how to grow in sacrifice. But I guess there's nothing to prevent us from meditating. We, we did it before, but it doesn't really help you other than to get these visions. It seems like there ought to be a different way to get this information before you're here and ready to elevate. That's just me, you know. All right. Uh, let's uh, go see what the, holy moly, we have a dragon. All right, so I'm gonna cast protection. All right, I'm gonna bring up these guys and then uh, we have a plenty of targets here. So I think I'll just leave Iolo at this point and um, so that's a dragon. That's like the dragons that I fought. Oh, that one's fleeing already. That's nice. Let's see what these things are. These three-headed things. A uh, hy oh, hydra. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh, 15 XP. Good job, Iolo. Okay, so I need to move. Maybe I'll come up here because there is nobody lined up to fight with me. And I'm going to have to move Iolo too. I'll move him down. All right, so I'm going to have to... Move Julia down. And then we can make things happen. All right, another one down, Hydra down. How are we doing? Health ain't bad. Julia, we don't need you to miss. Bad thing about being bunched up like this is that, you know, we can get multiple hits from the same, well, from different creatures because they're right in our face, potentially. So like me there, I could get a hit from the guy that's in front of me and the guy that's below me, potentially. But the best way to do that is to kill these guys. So let's get some stabby stabby and some throwy throwy going on here. My guy's critical, so that's guy, that guy's heavily wounded. So we're making good progress. We've killed some of these guys already. And I'm thinking I want to move Iolo down and try to get that guy that's flanking us. Maybe I'll do move him up and or her up and him down. All right, come on. My Hydra is fleeing. So hopefully I can take him out as he runs away like King Arthur in Monty Python. <laughs> I'm not trying to disperse the, the honor of the real fictional King Arthur. That's an odd thought. All right, who am I gonna help? I'll go help down here, because he's got two guys on his buttocks, and Joffrey's only got one. We really need you guys to... I wonder how much we're gonna, I didn't notice before how much we're getting for these guys when they die. So hopefully we get a nice amount. All right, that's another one down. Two down, I think, actually. All right, so. Barely wounded, now he's lightly wounded. 
Lightly wounded. Julia! I think that guy's fleeing. Julia. Come on, Julia. I really expected more of a ranger. I thought you were supposed to have good... Good, uh... Stuff. Alright, so now that Hydra is fleeing. <sighs> Julia! You're killing me here. Yeah, and he flood. Thanks, Julia. All right. I think that guy's fleeing. So I'm going to have to move. The one on the bottom is heavily wounded. All right, that guy's gone. Okay, so this guy is fleeing as well. Oh, Joffrey just wanted to stretch his lay his arm and get a final swing in. Kind of a cooling down swing. All right. Let's hole up in camp. Because, uh, like, Joffrey and, and Shamino did take some good damage there, I think. Because aren't they at 400 now? Yes, they are. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I see you, orcs. We've done one and two. So, sacrifice. For three cycles. Oh, we're still weary. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Come on, we just, like, battled for, like, half a... Half a, a day, felt like. and But we're still weary. It's like, gee, thanks. Oh, that guy's fleeing already. Orcs is really... I remember this, you know, back in the day when I fought... Uh, when I played D&D &D, that... Yeah, pretty... Very quickly, orcs are just like... They're, they're no real threat. And this is no different. And trolls even are not a super... Super duper threat at this point. Uh... All right, we got him taken care of. So now we just got the pesky troll. And if we can take care of him, I'm going to develop our standard funnel of death. This is going to be kind of a half funnel of death. No. <laughs> I didn't say that you could move, sir. Well, Julia's already in position. That's something. There we go. This is kind of what I was trying to go for before. There we go. Get. Uh, I will get it. Okay, good. This keeps up. Uh, we may be able to afford that sextant before too long. All right, so let's bring her here. And I'll put Iolo there. I don't really need help to deal with an orc. A single orc. Yeah, he's gone. He's toast. I think what I'm going to do is get myself in position to deal with the Eden because I think he's a little tougher than the orcs. All right, come on. Ah, darn it. Hit the wrong key. Yeah, I feel like Joffrey and Shamano are just like, you know, they're trash talking. I'm trying to get them to rush up within <laughs> sword distance. <laughs> Come on, you chicken. Don't you want to take me on? Okay, the Etten's heavily wounded. Ooh, good job, Joffrey. Got rid of that guy. Okay. Heavily wounded still. I think that one that one orc is gonna flee successfully. And he did. Okay, I killed the Etten. Excellent. Whoops. Practice swing there. Julia, get him. 
Yeah, Julia is certainly no better than either me or Iolo when it comes to accuracy. She might even be a little worse. All right. I think that guy's going to be out of here before... Interesting, he took another hit. Come on, Iolo. There we go. Get him. I will do it. All right. Um, oh, Cyclops. You know what? Oh, he's not going to let us go. No, no, he's not. Okay, so we got a gazer. You know what? Cast sleep. Oh, wow. Really? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's I, I cast, what, the protection spell when when we started fighting the Hydras and the Dragon. And we've fought orcs since then, so I would have thought my my magic points would have uh, regenerated by now, but apparently not. I'm going to wait. Okay, you can attack. You can attack. If this guy makes it down here to be in front of the melee guys, then I'm going to move up so I can I can attack him. Oh, I could have attacked that guy. I didn't see him moved in alignment with my deadly stones. How are we doing? We're okay. We're okay. That guy's heavily wounded now. That guy's lightly wounded. Yeah, the the sleep spell I tried here really didn't do anything. I think where I want it, where I really want to try it is like if we get woken up by serpents. Because I'm thinking that might be a way that we can get out of that fight without getting poisoned. So I definitely want to try that next time I get the chance, next time serpents want to assail us. But it certainly didn't seem to do anything. I don't know why I keep having them do that. It certainly didn't seem to do anything with these guys. If any of them fell asleep, they weren't asleep for long. Oh, the Zorn is already heavily wounded. That's good. All right. Good job there, Shamino. Joffrey, another practice swing, just so he doesn't feel left out. <laughs> oh, the, my Zorn is critical. There's Joffrey again, man. He just wants to feel like he's contributing. So he's going to swing his sword, even though that Cyclops is well out of his reach. Okay, the Zorn is down. Don't don't tire out your arm, Joffrey. He's only lightly wounded, so he'll probably come down. And uh, I think I'm gonna move up here. Uh, I did it again. Ooh, the Gazer is fleeing. Well, let's see what we can do about that, shall we? <clears throat> there we go. We'll let Shamino rest up a little bit. He's been wailing away at, at various things. There we go. Get. I will get it. 84 gold. <laughs> We're up to 781 gold already. Beautiful. All right. Let's take care of these bozos. And then we'll try again. I would like to at least... At least get this um, elevation completed this episode. Oh, Mr. Troll. You know, there's a reason why we talk about people that are just a big pain in the butt on the internet trolls. And yeah, you're not an internet troll, but you're still a pain in the butt. <laughs> with your stone throwing. 
I think we got some. Okay, that guy must have been fleeing. Uh, Iola is the only one that can hit anybody right now. I'm going to move over. Have him move over. You can just stay put. I guess I'll have her line up. That orc is fleeing. Still fleeing. All the trolls coming over. Maybe I will have our melee guys work on Mr. Troll. Oops. Sorry, that was my bad. I'm sitting here thinking, and I should attack him too. Since I'm lined up. I think Iolo and Julia can handle any of these orcs that are still hanging about. There we go. That was easy. All right, let's... Clean up here. Oh, I could have attacked. I should have attacked. Come on, Iolo. Take him out. That guy's going to flee. We can't get to him. That's fine. There we go. Get me. We're doing all right. I'm not going to worry about... All right, so we've done one and two. We need to... Sacrifice, sacrifice, okay. Three cycles. Now we're unable to focus. Maybe we're too injured? I'm not quite sure why. I mean, nobody's really down a lot. But let's see if we can if we can heal up here. Okay, we're healed up. We're at full health. Did I misspell sacrifice? I mean, that's not outside the realm of possibilities. Try this again. Three cycles. There we go. Here we go. Elevation. Here we come. I do wonder how they came up with these various mantras. They don't really seem to, to, to bear any direct correlation to the, to the particular um, virtue that you're meditating on. But, you know, what the heck do I know? The more I think about it, I think our little dots up there between Fu and Gold, I think that is going to make an arc. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Thou hast achieved partial avatarhood in the virtue of sacrifice. Oh. And we've got a line now. I'm not certain that is going to be an arc. I suppose it might be. If that's kind of the bottom of the circle... Oh, no, that's the cross piece. Looking at the onk there, it's obviously going to be kind of a squatty little onk. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it is going to be the onk, and that's probably the cross piece there. Okay, so we have achieved partial avatar, and we are granted a vision. Now, that is interesting. This is the same vision we were granted for compassion. So compassion and sacrifice. There is a link there. I wonder if like when, uh, I wonder if this maybe ties into the altars when we get to the altars and the dungeons because there's usually a pair of them. So truth and love, love and courage. Oh no, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the uh, virtues, it's the principles that are, that are associated with the altars. Okay, then, hmm then I don't know what to make of that. But let's uh, record that. Okay, so there's our vision. And that's that, we are done with that. So let's, uh, we'll go around the top part of the lake here just because we do have the swampy lands there and I don't want to deal with the swampy lands. 
and let's just see what's let's just see what else there is that's not swampy lands we get down here by the southern so there's only so much we can do there see there because of the swampy lands I don't at some point we may have to see about getting a horse again oh dear I am getting a little tired of these guys <laughs> it's not that it's not that they're difficult they're just annoying all right so you up yeah I see you there Mr. Etten you rock throwing little SOB come on let's go we are in configuration come around the rocks we'll give you a rock in the face oh these guys are gonna they don't like our configuration oh that one guy the Etten's kind of confused <laughs> well, that's fine all right I think I had an attack there and I messed it up all right barely wounded barely wounded I can attack that guy our melee guys are just going to have to wait and hope we leave them somebody to cleave with their various edged weapons. Not that guy. We need the Etten to move in position. That guy's fleeing. Come on, Joffrey. There we go. So now we just got the big guy. I say the big guy, but he's just like... You know, if if the orcs are kindergarten kindergartners, this guy is like a first grader. <laughs> Acid trap. All right. Well, better than poison. I don't have to use one of my cure spells. All right. So there's really nothing much here. Um, we can see a little bit of of dagger isle. I think that's actually one of the small isles there's these islands that are north of actually the island that moon glow is on uh, new north of verity isle and that so we're seeing a little bit of that that little island there so let's go around and let's deal with these orcs i guess and we'll move on the other side of lock lake and, and uh continue on that way exploring the southern coast as quickly as we can as these silly silly little low grade enemies keep keep uh, hounding us get these guys and you guys can stay there now I'll let Iolo get some Etten points maybe Oh, I forgot. I didn't notice that orc way, way back there. All right. They're like, they're like shifting all over the place. Is he getting fleeing? Or is he just lining up? He's just lining up for a different attack run. There we go. Okay, so that orc is fleeing. Maybe not. Good job, Julia. All right. You, we really need you to hit him, Iolo. I'm going to bring Julia up. That way she'll kind of get the attention of that orc. Okay, so the Etten's lightly wounded. Now that orc is heavily wounded. Good. I knew you could do it, Julia. I had faith. Let our melee guys deal with the Atten, and he is gone. And I guess I'll go up, have him go up, have him come up. I have Violo. Oh, he's fleeing. All right. That guy is done. Take him out, Julia. Okay, so we just got this one guy here that's fleeing. Boom. All right, acid trap evaded. That's not accidental like <laughs> go into the poison stuff. That would be bad. Okay. 
Hey, we are at 910 here. Uh, all right, cast Fireball North. I mean, these guys are super tough, but there's three of them. And I'm kind of feeling like I just want to be done. And it's not like we don't have a lot of these mixed, and it's not like we don't have a ton of reagents to go with it. So, I don't know that I'll use Fireball on all of them, but I just felt like thinning out the numbers a little bit. He's lightly wounded. Come up. Her over. Heavily wounded. We'll wait to get in position. I should move Julia, maybe. I'm not certain she's going to get an opportunity to do anything. Oh, Joffrey made him flee. Good job, Joffrey. And Iolo took care of things. I'm going to move him back down. Just so he's not lined up. Yeah. Iolo hasn't ha had a hit in a while, but... That wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. Oh, he's already heavily wounded. Good shot, Iolo. Can you take him out? He's critical. There we go. Get me. 54 gold. All right, let's get our buttocks back to Vesper. And let's enter. And let's buy that, buy that sextant and try it out and then maybe we'll let that be that for today so guild I realize that I also uh, I'm not going to have ugh, I, I'll buy the sextant I, I realized when I was editing last week's episode that I should have bought some keys but maybe I'll, I'll do some uh, more um, maybe I'll do some more uh, battle in this area next time and, and we'll, we'll buy some more keys because I am out of keys uh, yes, I would. I would like a D, please. I will buy. Yes. So now I am at 64 gold. And how much was a key? 60 gold pieces for six. You bet. Excellent. No. All right, so let's take a look at our stats. So I'm at 1833 HP. So I just turned level six. And uh, Shamino's up to 454. So he's going to get to 800 to get to level five. Same for Joffrey. So they have a ways to go. Julia should be able to go to level four now. Okay, so we need to get back to Lord British so she can go up to level four. And Iolo's got... You know, 355 experience points to go. So that's good. So now we've got six keys, five gems, and one torch. Excellent. Let's use which item? <laughs> Sextant. Not a usable item. I thought that was how you used that. Oops. I don't want to go in there and talk to that guy. Let's, uh... I'd, I expect the keys to be a bit more expensive than that. So I'm, I'm surprised that I was able to do the both. Now, we're obviously down to four gold. We'll need to get some more food sometime soon, too. Use... Sextant. Not even, am I spelling that right? <laughs> Five. Sextants. Do I have to put the S on there? Oops, 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 oops. I wouldn't expect it to be sextants. Not a usable item. Okay, apparently I'm going to have to do some research to figure out exactly uh, how we use... The sextant, but uh, I think we're done here in the Vesper area. We'll continue following the southern coast and do some work around Lock Lake next time and make our way to Lord British so that Julia can level up. And then we'll uh, 
move on in our quest for Avatar Hood. We've got three three of them now that we are um, totally elevated in. And so we've got other ones that need some work. But hopefully we'll be able to improve on those soon. But I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And until then, be seeing you.